What up, y'all? Welcome to a Texas preview, my style. I'm going to give you break down some of the races, the truck series, the extreme series, and the cup races all this weekend. Looking forward to watching all three series this weekend at Texas, the Lone Star State. Everything's bigger in Texas. So let's go into it. So we go to Texas, the normal entries, 34 trucks. No one will go home. Everyone will make the show. The normal ones uh, is Kyle Bush is back in a seven spire truck. Look out for him. Uh, Johnny Sauter, a trucker for life, been in series for a long time, will be in the 45 Nice Motorsports. And then also um, Zane Smith back in the 91 truck for Hilgerman McNally Racing. Uh, that's going to be looking forward to it. I'm excited to see how those guys perform, those cup guys especially. Some chart race, 8.30 Eastern, the speedycash.com, 250 later race. One is 40 laps, stage two, 40 laps, last stage, 87 laps, four sets of tires. Boy, I'm looking forward to this race, no chance of rain. I'm going to give you the top five contenders in this race, in my opinion, and I could be completely wrong. This is all, all in here, baby. Jenkins, Corey Heim, Ron Ruth, Kyle Busch, and Ty Majeski. I believe those kind of five guys are going to be contenders. I believe Christian Jenkins is on a hot streak. I could see him winning this race. Just because of that. He's dominant. He's in a fast truck. And he's really becoming really becoming his own. You know? I think I, I'm seeing him becoming that contender. And then Corey Heim, he's racing a freaking Tricon Toyota. Kyle Bush. The dude is a all-time winningest truck guy. He's won here in Texas a lot. And the thing about Rasha Ruth then, is he's just really, really, to me, good in these mile halves. He gave me a lot of hope in that Las Vegas race. And I, I apologize, I'm not the stack guy. It's all in the brain, and I wouldn't love anyone's on here. I'm trying to figure out the right website where I can go to find truck stats for a race, Xfinity, and Cup all in one. So I can kind of give you guys a little more in depth. Um, but that's just how I do it. And then Tyler Jessica, he was really, really, really good at Las Vegas, which I believe was the last mile and a half we were at. Um, and he won that, and he ran really well. I almost said he won that. He didn't win that. Roger Group won. If I go off pick, I really like Ty Majeski for some reason. He seems he's been the leader of Thor Sport. He's got a fast truck. I think Corey Ham's good. I think Roger Cruz's good, but Roger Cruz, his momentum, he hasn't been running too good at short tracks, and it was a mile and a half. But I really like Ty Majeski in this race, and I got Ty Majeski taking it home. Three series race, three entries. Some noble ones. Daniel Dye will be in the calling number 10. We got. Tanner Gray in the 19 Jokers racing car. And then the 20 of Ryan Truex is back in the 20 car. Corey Hyam in the 26. Um, and I believe it was the Sam Hunt racing car. And then 38 is Matt Benadero in the Viking Motorsports car. So here's, here's race. 130 Eastern. It's the Frozen Custard 300. Stage 145 laps. Stage 245 laps. Uh, last stage 110 laps. Five sets of tires. 200 laps. Boy, oh boy, the Frozen Custer, Andy Frozen Custer, Cold Custer's running a, a special scheme. Cold Custer. It's freaking fire. Now, let's get into this race. I think this is going to be the best race on the weekend. multi grid racing, Texas doesn't put on. They had that freaking, they like, they won, they put progressive baking a couple years ago and repaved. They have it. I mean, they got like, I don't know, six freaking lanes up there and they only use like one lane, one or two lanes. I think also the PJ1 is staying up there and one and two. But well, X-Men Series always still puts on a good race. It won't be as hot. It'll probably be around, I think it's around the, around this, it'll be around 70 degrees. So a bit of a cooler, I think the last year's Texas race, which was a playoff race, was like 100 something degrees. So a little bit cooler temps. And I just think the X-Men Series cars always are the better cars. They, they handle maybe a lot more than the cup cars. They're really able to drive those things more. If I look at overall contenders in this race, I think I'll start off with the, the Stuart Haas cars. I think Riley Herbst, his only win so far is the mile and a half, and he's run really good. And to me, those are his strong suit. So I would look at him. I'd still look at Cole Custer as well because you know, he's running the freaking sponsor of the race on his car too, so look out for that. Then when we look at the Chevys, the junior motorsports, in my opinion, is looking pretty good here. I would say Brandon Jones. Sam Mayer, the two I'm looking out for. You know, Sammy Smith to me has been a little iffy so far this year. I don't, I haven't seen that dominance he he's shown in Joe Gibbs racing, in my opinion. 
And then Colin, I still I don't see much from Colin. He just you know Josh Josh Williams has run better, but I don't think his strong suits in the middle of the half, the fast big tracks. So I don't see as much there. And John Madera, though, I do see a little more potential in him running well here. I see him running a top 15 type car. And then the Toyos, we just should just throw the entire Joker's racing fleet. But also, I, I'm telling you, I don't know what it is, but I'm a huge Sam Hunt guy right now. This Toyota team, they're smaller, but they really have been working hard to, to move up the ranks, the, the Toyota pipeline. Corey Hyam is a super talented future cup guy, in my opinion. You just cannot deny the fact of how strong Joker's racing is. I just think they're, they're just levels above the competition. I don't think Junior Motorsports is that good right now. They're solid. They haven't got a win yet. Just not like I should win that Phoenix race, but tire issue got flat, hit the wall. Junior's racing, to me, is levels above the competition. Toyota's levels above the competition. My top five picks for Xfinity. I'm going to go both through house cars. Cole Custer, Ryan Herbst, and then I'm going to go two Chevys, Austin Hill, Sam Mayer, and then two Toyotas, Chandler Smith and Corey Heim. I like those guys a lot. I think Ryan Tricks would be good too, and, and Chandler Gray, both for Joe Gibbs Racing. And Chandler Smith has been okay. Like, he's not impressing me. He's getting his butt whipped every week by, you know, his teammate, Chandler Smith. He's usually, you know, he's running top 10, but tonight he runs outside in top 10. And to me, I would expect a little more up from him. Knowing his experience in the Xfinity series, and he's running for probably the best team in the freaking series. With those top five guys, I'm going right off the bat. I'm picking freaking Chandler Smith because I don't know what it is, but I think he is so dominant right now. He just freaking won Las Vegas. He dominated that race, you know. And there's no other, you know, if there was Eric Amarola or maybe John Hanniacek in the field, I might have put, put him over. But I think Chandler Smith is really good. He's he's a talented guy. You know, last year he proved with maybe a lesser equipped car, he won Richmond. But then he struggled the rest of the year. But now he's in a freaking rocket ship. And he's going to be good. And I think he's going to win this freaking race. Now let's get into the Cup Series. Entry list, 38 Cup cars for this weekend. My gosh. Everyone will make the field. It's a 40-car entry. But here we go. We got Cass Graw back in the 15 for one of his 25 races. Ty Dillon back in the 16 for Colin Race. And I think it's one of his five races. And then Austin Hill in the 33 for our Sierra will be hitting the track for this race in one of his many, I think, multiple sports, multiple starts, excuse me, like four starts. And then Jimmy Johnson, the seven-time champion in the 84 for Legacy Motor Club, one of this his second of nine starts this season at Texas. He's been really successful in Texas. I don't know, I think he has like five-plus wins at Texas. I don't exactly know that. He's so good there. He ran a Daytona 500, but... Got involved in a wreck early in that race and messed up his steering, so he just was never able to really compete. His car was not handling the way it needed to be. And the Cup Series race is at 3.30 East Street. It's the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400. My golly, that's a long name of a race. Stage 1, 80 laps. Stage 2, 85 laps. Last stage, 102 laps. 267 laps. 9 sets of tires. 5% chance of rain. 80 degrees. Boy, there's so many contenders in this race. It's the only race that got moved up last year's race was like 100 degrees. It was the playoff race. But the race still, was, it was fine, but still, this track is just so, it's so sad. There's a lot of talks. Who knows what the future of Texas looks like when it comes to maybe a reconfiguration. Because I think the track's going to stay there. I think they just built like a Bucky's. There's a lot of stuff that's been built around Texas. The track, so it's definitely sees a place it's such a big track icon track i think they i, I was seeing pictures they got rid of the uh pylon the scoring pylon uh they have a massive freaking jumbo but jumbotron it's freaking huge i think it's the biggest in the series awesome it's cool bigger than charlotte motor speedway one but when it comes to the race i mean i can name all these contenders but there's so many to me in cup series there's just so many more contenders in this series we can look at the entire hendrick fleet but mainly i would say kyle larson and William Byron. Those guys both dominated this race last year. Led a bunch of laps. Um, I would say the Fords last year, to me, they were RK. They both, I think they qualified third and fourth for this race. Um, and I, actually, it might have been second or third. I don't know. But they qualified great in this race. So, I, th- I can see them being in the top two front Ford guys. But they've kind of struggled this year, in my opinion. So, I still think Penske could get the upper hand on them when it comes to performance. But then Toyota, we can look at Jacob's racing. 
We could look at Danny Hamlin, Martin Truex, Christopher Bale, Ty Gibbs. The whole fleet there is contenders. But also when it comes to the Toyotas, we can look at Lacey Motor Club. I like Eric Jones the most out of those guys. Jimmy Johnson, I don't know. He's he's Jimmy Johnson, but he hasn't performed like Jimmy Johnson. Do you know this is a place he's run really well at? I still see Eric Jones could be, could be a guy who runs top 10. Also, 2011, Bubba Wallace, he said he should have won this race. I see him being, this is a track he could be really good at. Same thing with Tyler Reddick. Top five picks. When it comes to it, I'm going to go, you have to put Kyle Larson and you got to put William Byron there. And then in my opinion, I'm picking Bubba Wallace and I'm picking Tyler Reddick too. I think those guys are so much, so fast. If I get a pick out of these five guys, I'm going with Ty Rick. You would think William Byron and Bubba Wallace. I think William Byron's the most obvious guy. I think he could dominate in this race. But I like Ty Rick. I think if his pit crew doesn't screw up, he's going to have a fast car. I think he'll be competitive in a top five car. And he's one of a mile and a half. He won at Kansas. Um, now, this is a whole different track than Kansas reconfiguration. But I like Ty Rick in this race. He's a pick. Well, that's the wrap from today's episode. Let me know what you thought about my picks. It's just like they're trash or not. I, I need to do a better job. I need to go in more in depth on stats with some of these drivers. And I apologize if that you know my picks just don't. I'm all I'm saying is what I remember. Really, all I'm talking about is stuff I remember off the top of my head when it comes to who I think will be competitive. So I do think it's not the most proper preview, but it's the way I'm doing it right now. I definitely should put a little more time into find the, the stats, but usually with there's so much NASCAR news, it's hard for me to spend the time also i still like work a normal job so but that was definitely something i do plan to do in the future and, and really give a little more in depth on who i who i pick and why i pick them but besides that like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye y'all <laughs>